Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I am absolutely shocked. Like, I honestly, I, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Like, I, I don't know what world I'm living in. What world are you living in? I, I don't get it. I'm confused. As you probably have seen from the title. Um, we got some things to talk about. So, if you are new, welcome. My name is Amanda. I'm 35. I live in Oregon. I'm an all-cash budgeter. I do cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, all in a low income. If that's something you're interested in, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think about this. Because I can't be the only one out in the universe going, what's going on? What's going on, people? What are you thinking? What in the world are you thinking? I want to know. So, I've been on this journey to try to find my, my husband a second car. I still have the option of getting my friend's car. Um, my friend is going to sell a car that he has not been driving. It's still drivable. needs tires. It needs a battery. Might need some other things, but I realized something really fast, okay? There are no cheap cars out there anymore. That $1,000 car that Dave Ramsey talks about, if you know who Dave Ramsey is, you know, you hear his, his little spiel. Find a car you can afford to drive. Well, Dave, I'm sorry. I can't, I, I can't find a car in that price range and maybe i'm just cheap maybe i'm just cheap when i think of a cheap car folks i think a thousand dollars eight hundred dollars nine hundred dollars i think fifteen hundred dollars two thousand two thousand seems pretty high but i might i might pay two thousand dollars for a used car maybe depends on what it is how many miles does it have it have on it. Um, what condition is it in? Um, can I have a mechanic look at it? I know it sounds crazy, but I've been a car connoisseur, okay? Before I started driving my 2020 Kia Sportage, I drove a new used truck. I didn't drive it for very long, but that, that baby was beautiful. I mean, I'm not saying my Kia isn't nice either, because I got a nice car. I'm blessed. It's in the shop right now. Um, which, by the way, I still have zero answers on because I don't think they've even looked at it yet. Okay. But as I'm on, going online, <laughs> I'm on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist. I've called tow yards because I, I did get a car from a tow yard. And we'll talk about that in a second. And this was years ago, mind you. I've had, this, I've had my 2020 Kia Sportage in August. It'll be three years. Okay, so my question is, have people lost their damn minds? Because I'm seeing 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, um, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 and on up cars. I've seen one online, you guys. And I, I message this gal, just, just pure self-funded independent research decided to come into my brain little dave chappelle for you there um and i said i'm gonna message this gal she was selling the same vehicle i drive 2020 kia sportage it had 210 thousand miles on it and she wanted twenty two thousand dollars for this vehicle now, I'd jump on this and be like, hey, I better post my car for sale. Better post that, post that baby for sale today. Now, <laughs> she said she had somebody coming to look at it. And I said, well, ma'am, I'm really interested. Because mind you, I've been talking to scammers. I have been um, talking to um, people that have no idea what's wrong with their vehicle they don't know anything I'm talking about or asking, okay? 
So here I've been doing all these things and I, it's been two days of this. Two days, only two days. And I've become to realize that people are nuts. You nuts. If you're selling a thousand dollar car for friggin' five thousand dollars and that's all it's worth, you're crazy. I know that prices of cars have gone up and inflation has happened and food's expensive and utilities are so expensive you can't breathe. I'm paying for air at this point. She's like, well, I have a gal from X, Y, and Z. She doesn't get off work till six o'clock and she's coming to look at it, ma'am. I will let you know. That time passed. I go to look at the message. The car had been sold. She had a rating from a person who sold her this car, five-star rating. Her car was uglier than mine. It had a dent in the side. I mean, I just can't even tell you, you guys. This is crazy. Where, where are the cheap cars? I go to the car lot, you guys. And I would insert this clip, but I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna because I don't feel like it's appropriate for me to be posting videos of people talking when they don't know they've been recorded. But I was curious. And I have a recording of this if you need it. If you need it for your own self-funded independent research. A 2024 Kia Sportage same model looks the same as my other car my my car my other car i only got one car quit talking amanda you got one car okay i walk in there and i say hey um i see this this kia sportage in the showroom over here i said can you tell me how much this one is i about died i about died He's like, well, this one here, this one has, you know, 13,000 miles on it. But we're, we're going to sell it for a good deal of $58,000. $58,000. It's fully loaded. It has this, it has that. He's talking about the features of my car. The one I'm driving. I'm telling you right now, people. I don't even know if I'm going to be driving in the next five years, if things keep going the way it is. Something's got to change. Sorry, Dave, but your, your $1,000 car, buy yourself a beater car, $3,000, $4,000, $5,000. You might drive it a year. You might drive it a year. I was just looking for a second car for, for Jordan to drive for, drive from here to said work. That's it. Some of these cars have major mechanic problems. Major mechanic problem problems. And I'm not going to say I haven't been one of those people. Where like, I'll trade my car. I will sell you my car. My car is dumpy. But this is what's wrong with it. I've been there. They're hard to sell. But now, apparently, not only are they hard to sell, but they're hard to buy. There is no such thing as a $1,000 car anymore. However, I did end up calling some tow yards. If you're interested, because I'm not a mechanic, I don't know. I'm not a risk taker either. I do not gamble, and I'm not a good gambler, and I don't like to give away my money. Okay? Because I work very hard for the very little money I seem to have, right? I'm low income. If you're looking for a beater $1,000 car, and you're willing to put a little bit of work into it to medium ratio of work into it, you can call Tow Yard. Tow Yards sometimes have vehicles within your price range, and honestly, you guys... I had one, one really good lucky pick from a um, tow yard. I brought my best friend 
at the time, my ex-best friend, I brought her mother and her roommate who loves cars, knows lots about cars at the time. Mind you, they don't live here anymore. They don't live here anymore, so I can't bring them. But this was, gosh, eight years ago. I brought them to a tow yard and I'm like, please, 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 please help me look for a little cheap car. So I got really lucky and me and my little, my little, my little ducks, doo -doo -doo -doo, we walked into this tow yard and he walked behind us and he was wandering around. He's like, I'm going to go wander. I did not know that that's mechanic talk for. I'm going to go look at the cars while you talk to that guy over there. Because you got the money and we want to look at these things. So he's over there tinking around and looking around. And we stopped on a 1991 Jeep Laredo. Okay, it's one of those box ones. The 4.1 liter, everybody loves that one. I love that one. Okay, and he's in there tinkering around in the engine, and he's like, I, can I have the keys? He turns the key, doesn't turn it on, he's looking at stuff somewhere, and he turns it on, he's like, can I take it for a test drive? So he takes it for the test drive, and he says, this is the one, and I'm like, dude, we've only looked really hard at this one Jeep, and he's like, that's okay, Amanda. I think everybody loves Jeeps, and I think that you're going to love this Jeep. So, we buy this Jeep for $700. It does not need tires. The person that drove it must have put a lot of work into this thing because it had new tires. It was very well running. Um, everything seemed pretty spotless on the inside. I asked the guy, I said, how did, how did you acquire this? And he says, ah, well, we tow people all the time. But this person didn't have a license or insurance. So when they got pulled over, they got told that they needed to find somebody with a license. And that they were going to get a ticket. But if they found somebody with a license, they couldn't find somebody with a license. So they called him. He picked it up. And they never came back for it. Why? Money. He said that he had contacted them after, you know, they had swapped information when he picked up the car. Because you have to do that, right? It's, it's the law. You gotta know who, who this belongs to. And they're like, yeah, we don't, we just really don't have the 400 and some odd dollars. I mean, they didn't have a license and they didn't have insurance, okay? I've been there. Not the no license thing. But that's another story. But what I'm trying to tell you is that there are some options out there, but I'm not a mechanic. I'm not going to sit there with my very little amount that I have in the bank now. Where's my little cheat sheet? This here piece of paper, $2,388. We are not going to waste that on something that's crap. And you shouldn't either. I'm actually thinking, how long am I going to be out of this car that I have, that I make payments on? Pretty large payments on, in, in my opinion, and most of your opinions too. And that's life, oh well. I can tell you right now, I acquired about that Kia when I dropped the, the Kia off, okay? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a drink of my rainbow water. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thirsty. It's hot. It's a hundred and something degrees outside right now. And I'm not kidding. By the way, ugh, that was spicy in my mouth. By the way, uh, we have a lot of fires going on in our area. So that's not making the heat any better. And it makes my eyes itch and my mouth feel dry. And I feel like I've been walking in a desert. But anyway, I, I inquired the guy that I talked to about this, this 25 year, look, year old looking salesman. I said, so this new Kia over here, 
I mean, he didn't even know it was in, the, in there for service. That's how, that's how clueless some of these folks are. I walked in from service. I mean, I don't know how I didn't notice. He was standing there with his little tiny cup of coffee. You know, the little one that you get while you're waiting. I don't want their coffee. It tastes terrible. Okay. Worse, worse than tire shop coffee that has the tire taste to it. Yeah. No, 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 thanks. Um, so this guy tells me the average car payment now for a new used or a used vehicle is anywhere between 800 and $1,200. I asked him, I said, well, how, how much would this car payment be, be for this new one? And he says, oh, probably about, if you have great credit and trade in, probably about $1,250, maybe $1,350. I said, well, if I didn't, he said $1,400, $1,500 a month. I said, is that the highest car payment you've seen lately? He's like, oh, no, no, no. I, that's it's actually pretty average. Don't fall for it. If you got to use your Lamborghinis, you got to use the bus system. Maybe you don't have a bus system and you're like us and we're in the middle of B, BFE, middle of nowhere little town. You might have to think harder on things. And I'm starting to think harder on things. But I'm sure not going to, I am sure not going to buy a $3,000 car that has 280,000 miles on it and it's it's old like me old like me if the car was was made in in 1993 and it's three thousand dollars and it has almost 300,000 miles on it and it's it's got some some paint issues and it's running rough don't do it bestie not worth it not worth it okay tow yard maybe friend from best a uh, car from best friend i know where he sleeps at night <laughs> i mean that lightly he's probably gonna watch us uh but you know i mean the truth is is that nothing is cheap and affordable anymore housing's not cheap um i i did not realize you guys that I did not realize, I did not realize, and I'm, honestly, I'm kind of grateful I didn't know, and I was oblivious to this world in a way, because that shows that my car is a good car, okay, um, it, it had, it's had its little hiccup right now, and we're working on it, still haven't heard anything, but I'm sure glad I'm not paying five to eight grand for a decent beater car, meaning, you don't know what's wrong with it. How many owners has it had? I had every type of vehicle you can think of. I've had trucks. I've had SUVs. I've had a uh, Jeep. I've had plenty, plenty of little cars, uh, sedans, hatch, hatch, hatchbacks, all, all the things. Okay. Do what you can with what you got. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.